that just let me just a minute I'm, I'm still putting my shoes on here give me a second okay got a gas tank wait let me rephrase that rewind I got something I'm gonna try and make a gas tank out of that's what I was trying to say and that's what I'm gonna try to accomplish today I hope it works currently I am living with an eight gallon tank but while at a local auction last week Pick this bad boy up. Stainless steel keg, 16 gallons. No, I don't know if I can weld to it, but I'm gonna try. I've already tried to test drill out this. It's not gonna happen. My whole side will not drill through that. It just burned all the teeth off of it, which is fine. I did test drill a hole on the other side and it popped a hole in it, no problem. So we're good there. I mean, it's so red, I almost wanna mount it up there, but I won't. Went to the local hardware store, picked up a few adapters and connectors and broken drill bit. I wonder when I did that. Let's just pop some holes in there and see what we can do. Got a little warm at the end. It's okay, this step bit was junk anyways. Must go bigger. Yeah, she, uh, she toast. Whoops. I brought a couple options. Let's see which one doesn't get wrecked. That one's not working. I'm not gonna melt that one down too. Nice and slow, keep her lubed up. Just like it's the first time. I meant to do that. Wow! What the? Don't you fall in there. That was fun. Oh, it still needs to go bigger. Perfect, 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 perfect. It's not fun not having a fuel gauge. You live and you learn and you figure it out, but I'm gonna build a fuel gauge into this one. So I might need to get a longer hose. Hello? Are you guys home this morning? I'm in my garage. This is the guy that borrowed my grinder. The tool, not the app. Okay. Got my buddy serviced. Where was I? Yeah, let's just go for it, huh? I don't want it in like that because then the gas can't drain out of the line. I want it so the gas can get out so I know that I'm running out. I guess if I can't see it in the tube from this point, I know I'm low. Better than what I had before. Lost it again. There it is. Yep, new drill bit. Need a drill bit. I guess I can at least run that down until I hit the spot I ruined it. Like there, then I'll go get more. I needed a chair to get off my knees. Take it nice and slow, Simon. Don't rush it. Ah. Nice and easy. Still needs to be bigger. I really just need to invest in a new drill bit set. Ooh, that wasn't nearly as violent as I was expecting. I may have put the hole too low. Let's hope not. Well, shit. What I'm dealing with, because I thought I was thinking far enough ahead, clearly I wasn't. I want this in there at an angle at least 90 degrees or a little tipped down so the fuel has no problem getting out. So I get a correct reading in the hose. The way it's looking, it's gonna be like this up into the tank, which in my mind won't work correctly because the fuel is gonna sit in the line and the fuel level here will come lower and the fuel won't come out of there giving me a false sense of security up here. That's a problem. 
Now I gotta figure out whether I try and plug that hole or get some kind of longer adapter of some sort so I get it further out so I get the desired result. I'm gonna ponder that for a bit. Either way, I need one on the top. Uh, maybe I should measure this hole now and try and get them lined up. Easy peasy. That stuck into me and it burned me. I got a double whammy on that deal. Ow. It branded me even. Wow, I can still smell the skin burning. Ugh, my poor thumb. Way too fast. Nice and easy, nice and easy. And that one should be able to mount just perfectly like that. Okay, right, I think I got a solution. Picked up one of these doodads, one of these doodads. That'll thread under there, that'll thread under there. Wait, where's the rest? Here's my nipple, like so. I can open that hole up a little bit more on the top side here. Just like, just kind of, you know. I'll bevel it out with some, I got tools. I don't know what they're called. And then I'm gonna put this in straight or at an angle if I want, and it'll be perfect. See, that's what I do, I just wing it. Still haven't figured out if I can weld this yet or not. Or how I'm gonna clean all the shit out of here. We'll cover that later. Plus I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount it. I haven't even measured to see if it's gonna fit. Should fit. So it's been about a week. I don't remember where I am with this fuel keg gas tank project. I don't remember. So we're just gonna dive right in and see if I can remember what I got going here. Make sure I can find all my parts still and figure out where I'm at. Looks like pretty much all my parts are here. Perfect. Stop moving. That's right, I gotta, I gotta make that whole oblong. All right, will this work? We'll find out. Actually worked pretty good. Maybe we'll do a little better job and make sure it's really nice and snug this time. Because that shouldn't happen. Sure hope most of that's flying outside of the keg. Not really sure how I'm going to clean the inside out yet. That should work, huh? Alright, that'll definitely work. Now, how do I clean it? I need a better light. I need to see what's going on in there. I wonder if a guy shouldn't just... Get the hose up in there and give it a good enema. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm probably gonna put a second fuel filter in this system just cause I don't trust myself. Okay, mm -hmm. we're getting closer to finding out if it's gonna work. Now that I've already spent the money and the time and the effort on all the stuff up to this point, without actually checking to see if I'm able to weld this thing with what I got. Cause I sure as shit ain't got no TIG welder. Fuck that fits in there good. I can't believe I did that right. Do I cut some of that off? It only be what's in this little square, yeah, it's fine. Going with it. Where are you going? Here we go. What do you suppose the welder should be set at? Cause this might surprise you, but I have no idea. You know, I'm just gonna start where it's at and go from there. Please work, please, please work. Well, it's doing something. 
<laughs> Galvanized. Will it leak? I hope not. I'm sure I'll remember to check it before I fill it with gas. That seems like something I would do. This would be a lot easier if it wasn't so free moving on me. How about we let that one cool a little bit? Tiny bit of seepage right there, but nothing on this one. And this one I can't tell. It's actually all looking pretty good. I am, however, gonna go. I got a little seepage on the, the bottom there. I'm not sure about that one yet. And this one, maybe right at the top there. So I'm just gonna go and put a second pass over everything. Don't turn it on yet. Can I turn it on? Hang on, let me get it in the hole. Don't touch it, it's hot. Okay. No? Mm -hmm. All the way, or at least halfway. Oh, we got kinks in the hose, kiddo. Are you going? Yep, take the kink out of the hose. Did it? Yeah, we need more water than that. There you go. Where's it gonna come out? Into that tube. What tube? Well, that was inappropriate. I think we're doing pretty good. There's just a little damp spot right there, and I don't know if it's actually damp or if it's... Is it recording? Just a bad color. It's but I, I don't dare touch it. I'm sure it's... Oh, it's not hot. Try. Tap, tap. Is it hot? No. What I think I need to do is get some plugs, and put some water in it, and let it sit for a while, and then see what it does but I think we're going the right direction. I'm cold. At this point, I'm in full send mode. I'm gonna get some plugs, plug all the orifices, orifices, fill it with water and let it sit and see how we did. If it leaks, I'll cross that bridge then. But it's too hard to tell because it's got water spewing out of every damn hole it has and it's, it's hard to see. What I think I need to do is I need to cap this hole. Or I need to make a stand for it. I know it's been done before, but I like the way it looks. And that's all that matters to me. How are we gonna do this? I think I can scab enough scrap metal together to make something. Okay, think Simon, think. Let's be honest, the chain's just gonna be decorative. That's just not a little secret. So I don't need that yet. I actually think I should start by capping this damn hole. Capping this damn hole. Is that a haiku? Look, I would know. That'll work. I don't know what happened there. I had a total brain fart and lost what I was doing. Hopefully she don't leak. Basically what I gotta do is just make it sit level. Like this, but on its own. The, the, the nipple, the outlet, it may be a little off center. Oops. I don't think it'll matter. I really don't think it'll matter. I just gotta figure out when I put it in, how I get this in the right position. I'm sure there's a really easy way to figure this out. Circumference divided by pi, square root of six, 
<laughs> well, Jesus, I don't know. What if we start just cutting some shit? I can't screw this up too many times. I haven't got that much material. All right, two and a half inches tall, putting a 45 degree angle on it, and I'm hoping I can, boy, that might be too much of an angle. That's too much of an angle, isn't it? I'm get old eagle eye out here. What's a better angle? F it, let's just wing it. Yep, I think I can make that work. Precision equipment is why I run in this garage. We can work with that. Well, I totally measured that from the wrong side. That would have sucked. We got it though. Everything's kind of under control. Hmm. Do I get my chop saw for this one? Ah. What's one more cut? We've come this far. So how does one suppose they figure out exactly where to put these legs? There. Wow, I really missed the mark on that outlet. I'm just guessing at this point. Here's my mark for the center of the fill cap. Here's my outlet. Yeah, she's a, whatever. It'll be fine. Does it look level? We'll just put one little tack on it in case we gotta make adjustments. I suppose the level doesn't work this way, does it? Well, that's kind of pointless. I don't know. Let's try this way. I just rotate this. Look, it's level. It's perfect. Damn it. Yes, I realize this is probably not the best way to do this. I also realize just what I do. Think we can cheat and do this one the same way? Oh, that's getting warm. It's super helpful that everything wants to move. Ah. Really? What the? and it all looks a little jankity at the moment. It'll look better. I would like to say I promise, but I don't. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> They're all kind of going like this. <laughs> Damn it. I wish I knew what I was doing. Hey, but it stands. That's gonna count for something. It's even, I mean, relatively stable. If I weld those in solid, I don't think anybody will ever know. It's gonna be down there so far. I mean, I'll know and you'll know it'll be our dirty little secret. I'll think about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. At least now it's up off the ground. I'm gonna go get some plugs, plug these holes, and fill it with water and see what we got for leaks. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's not even talk about the fact that I went through and figured out where the center of this was and still put the leads on in the wrong damn spot and it's still crooked. I swear, sometimes. So I left this whole rig set out here overnight full of water. I don't know if you can see that or not, but she's full. Nothing leaking there, but we have total failure under here. 
she's all wet. She's si she seeped through and she's dripping down there, but I don't know if that's coming from the plug or... Looks like it could be a little moist around the weld. So may have to go for attempt number three or four, whatever. We'll just keep trying until we get it to work. Right, on the bright side, this isn't leaking at all. I got that going for me, so that's a win. <sighs> just keep trying. Just keep trying. Oh, it didn't get any lighter. It might be better than I thought. It's only wet around here, so that could just be wet because it's leaking from the threads. So maybe I take care of that problem before I go and add more to it. I don't know. But it's definitely leaking here. So we're gonna grind her down and do something. I don't know what we're gonna do. I just don't know where exactly it's leaking at. You know, it could be leaking anywhere and it's just following the cracks and coming out on this side or following, it's finding a path and coming out over here. So I'm gonna all the way around it again. And then I'm gonna look at this. I mean, cause that's, that's just beautiful. New memory card, fresh battery, gas is on. I remembered the ground, got my gloves, welding helmet. I think I'm actually ready to try this here. Got the welder cranked up a little bit hotter. See if that helps, probably won't. And away we go. My hand's just all over the frickin' place here. It was definitely leaking out of the plug. It's all dry around the base. You know what, I'm here. We're gonna grind it and weld it. Just gonna do it. Just, just gonna do it. I'm already here. I'm already set up. What the hell? What's four rounds of welding on the same spot? Let's be honest, is it gonna look like a St. Bernard took a big old dog shit on top of my tank here? Probably, but as long as it doesn't leak, that's all I care about. You can do this, Simon. You've got the hope. Uh-oh, that's what I was afraid of. We're okay so far. Why can't I figure out how to weld now? I don't know. Will it work? If it's gonna leak, I wanna know. I'd rather know now with water than with gasoline because I see fire on my face if I try and fix it with gasoline. I wonder if there's something I should use to clean this out with before I put it in the car other than water. Yeah, I don't know. Right to the broom. I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna let it sit for a while. So I didn't really have a plan on how I get this gas tank out because it's still full of gas. So the only thing I've come up with is take the gas line off at the pump here and hopefully enough gravity feeds out into this extra can I put down here. I should get most of it. <sighs> that was, uh oh, ah, nobody light any cigarettes. I don't even know how much gas is in the tank back there and if it'll fit in the tank that's right here. So, hope for the best, I guess. Damn it, how much gas is in there? It's still coming. Hmm, I might have to do some gas tank switcheroo stuff here going on. Ooh, it's done. Is it really done though? Is it done enough? To the back, let's check. This is a specially designed fuel gauge I made, not a piece of scrap metal I grabbed out of my scrap bin. Looks empty to me. Nothing. Are you kidding me? Well done. What's this one? Here you go. Just make sure it doesn't touch that one at the same time. And then it'll go 
You're fine. Just make sure you don't touch them at the same time. How do I loosen it? Like this, remember? Uh -huh. Put it on. Turn it. Take it off. That's all we need. Now we should be able to just... Nope, you don't need to take it all the way off. You just need to take that off like that. And the same for this one. This way now, because we're on the other side. Push towards me. There you go. Mm. My ears, they're broken. Any luck, I was smart enough that I left enough slack on the hose that I can lift this up out of here and then get the hose off. I'm back. Or not. I'm going to go with the or not. Cheap ass hose clamps that just unscrewed instead of like actually coming apart. So that's perfect. So I figure before I get too carried away here, I gotta see if this thing will even fit back here. Cause yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out though. This is attempt number one. Yep. How does it fit? Does it fit good? Not very well. How? Ah, not very well at all. I really tried, but that's okay. It's okay. This is just gonna, I mean, I, uh, I should have known. Yeah, there's no way. Fail. I'm okay with it. The upside is, is now I've got a partway belt fuel cell made out of a keg for a future project. Whatever that may be, I, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta take the losses, folks. You just, you just, you just gotta take the loss. So, yep, shoot. Really not how I wanted this to end. Ah! Well, I, mm. What do you do when your original plan falls apart? You start cobbling shit together. See until the bear keg project, I have to wait for a future project. And after actually like doing some research on my tank, finding out it's actually an 11 gallon fuel tank. So, it's better than I thought. I don't have a few hundred dollars to spend on a fuel tank. It's only gonna gain me five or six gallons more for the small capacity of area that I have. So I'm just gonna put a filler neck on mine of some sort, make it easier to fill up, try and salvage this somehow, I don't know. I'm just doing what I do here. Hmm. Maybe the vice is a better option. When I go around the corners, when this thing's full right now, it just sloshes out of the cap. I've tried fixing it and it just, I don't know, just a cheap design. So this will help make it easier to fill, stop it from doing that, look cooler, I don't know. Give me something to do because I'm bummed about the other situation. And two become one. That's warm. That is warm. Okay, so what I've created, if I can find it, I sure hope all this works. Otherwise I'll be patching another hole in my car with a license plate. This filler neck hose is gonna go over my main spout on my tank. It's aluminum, otherwise I'd just be welding onto that thing. I don't have that capability. This side of the adapter will fit in this side of the hose. You following? Cool. From there, I need to reduce it a little bit to get up to my, wherever it is, I flip up gas fuel cap that I got and curve a little bit and this will fit into there, there. It's coming together. Really not sure if it's going to work until I start, you know, putting it all together. It, it will go on, I promise. It just takes a little persuasion sometimes. There she goes. Like that. Clamp, clamp, and then now I just got to figure out the rest of it. This is just the first part. Something like that. I don't know if it's going to work. Is that too much angle? And then go down like another half inch, it looks like. I don't know if this is gonna work. That would work. Can I make it work though? Yeah. I, know. I get it. I'm back to the keg. I mean, if I get rid of the legs, I think I can actually make this work still. <sighs> nope, I just I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen either, so. Back to it again, oh my God. Oh well, it's all good. I mean, this is a 15 or 16 gallons, that's 11 gallons, what's four or five gallons? I'm gonna get like a little three gallon 
reserve can. I'm gonna keep in here anyways, I think. And I need, and this is probably a far stretch, but I'm gonna try and see if I can cobble it together. Probably not, but. We're going for the last ditch effort here before I spend an entire day doing this just to put it back to the way it was when I started. This feels like something I should have gloves on for. Why don't we straight up guess where to cut this? Does that work? Do we think this is gonna work? Like, actually? I think it could. Well, nope, stop. I don't know. No matter which way I do it, there's gonna be a gap somewhere. But I think I can fill the gap with some other stuff. Whatever. One thing at a time here, I guess. Think that's gonna work? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty slick if it does. Kind of annoying if it doesn't. How do I figure out where that hole needs to be now? I'm sure there's some magic way to do it. Well, let's just start with the way I know how to do it. Just pinched myself in the, ugh. What happened? I pinched myself and it hurt. Oh, Oof right. is right. No, no blood. I'm gonna take that tank out of it. Again. Less chance of screwing up and getting something in there. I know me. Totally just ballparked it the best I could. I can't see. The drill bit just wants to walk. Cell phone flashlight isn't cutting it. So we're gonna step our game up here a little bit. There, that helped. And it's not exactly where I wanted it, but it'll do. It's close enough. Now I just make this fit here somehow. There's a chance I didn't record everything that I just did, which will be par for the course. So just in case I didn't, because I don't know if I did, I hole sawed a hole through my car, put the flip cap in, and dropped the hose in. Now I'm just gonna Put the tank in there, mock everything up one last time, hopefully, and if it all looks like it's gonna work, we're gonna weld the bitch together. Put just a smidge of oil on there just to help maybe wiggle it around on here, because she's a snug fit, which is what I want. I think it's gonna work. There's really only one way to know for sure. Awesome. So I don't know if I'll put a vent in this tube here somewhere. I'll figure something out. Step one is finishing this up. Oh, I guess I'm getting on my knees, as usual. It doesn't have to look pretty, it's just gotta function. Yeah, I was afraid she's gonna be a little thin there. I have an idea. big to do the same thing on. Even I have my standards. I mean, they're low standards, but they're still standards. Wow, that smoke is from my thumb, damn. Huh. That didn't look too bad, huh? Oh, she's hot. 
there's probably a master metal fabricator out there that has a way better way to do that. But for what I'm doing, it's perfect. Send her home. It's really not pretty, but I don't really care. It's gonna serve its purpose perfectly, I think. I'm making this whole filler neck set up out of some exhaust pipe, some filler neck rubber hose. I think one of them might even be a radiator hose, I don't remember. Just stuff I had laying around. I just started piecing it together to make it work. To me, that's what hot rodding and rat rodding is all about. In and out, in and out, because I'm an idiot and I don't remember to do these things the first time. Uh, so Ideally, I think we'd want this in the tank, but as we discussed, my tank's aluminum. I don't have resources to work with that, so I'm just gonna put it in my vent tube. Should serve the same purpose. If not, somebody will tell me or I'll figure it out on my own. I just need air to be able to get into the tank when I'm taking fuel out. Hot, I did it again, ow. I just nipped the end of that off. Yep, it doesn't actually need to be in there. I have to rake my garage here soon with all the damn news coming in. Oh yeah. I'm really, really hoping I can finally assemble all this without any issues. Hoping it's all going to work the way I've attempted to make it work. Okay, here we go. It all went on perfect. I mean, the real question is, is it going to work? Probably should have got slightly bigger hose clamps. <clears throat> Hopefully I got that tight enough. That pipe extends quite a ways up in there. What a long way to get to where we are. But hey, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, I guess. Let's just do a quick trial run here. There's like a gallon and a half in this tank. Obviously this is nothing like a pump, but you know, it's something. Ignore the mess I'm making there that you probably can't even see. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, the cap leaks a little bit. Don't worry about it. No welding there for a while. No leaks. So it's a pretty successful test. Guess that only means one more test. No, this is done. I guess it's a matter of finding out whether I can actually pump some gas into her or not. So let's go find out. I'm really hoping this gallon of gas I got in here is gonna get me there. Really hoping. I think that's a win. And I was only a little worried I wouldn't make it. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror, it appears no friend of me It's not working now, 